Dear learners, I, Dr. Ramit Dias from Government Polytechnic Jalgaon, welcome you to this module on components of online teaching. After completion of this module, the learners will be able to identify various components of online teaching, create reflection spot in videos for improving student engagement. create learning by doing activity for reinforcing student learning use discussion forum to improve the student interactions and learning extension trajectories for further reading let me acknowledge iit bombay for the concept of learning centric mooc and their fdp courses et702x fdp101x and fdp201x Special thanks to Jay Krishnan Yam, Samir Shahshrabude, and other teachers of IIT Bombay for training me on online teaching. Let us consider elements of physical classroom, where student, teacher, and contents interact. Teacher first decides the learning outcomes and prepare the necessary content in terms of learning resources. and notes which he presents it to the students in classroom this is content teacher interaction now teacher interacts with students through explanation asking questions while students interact with teacher by asking their queries and solving assignments this is student teacher interaction student also interact with contents through reading notes and solving tests student student interaction also take place for learning the material now this is the setup of traditional classroom it's a time to think and reflect pause the video and record your answer in notebook on question what changes will happen if we convert physical classroom settings to online classroom settings if you have finished writing play the video and see the answer let me answer you that the three elements remain same but there are changes in the interaction of these elements let us take first element contents here the contents are prepared in terms of course material this course materials may be videos or handouts or any problems or exercises teacher prepares the content and this is called as learning dialogue led our second component or element is teacher whose role changes to facilitator as he interacts with students through discussion forum solving the difficulties of students give feedback and grade their assignments he facilitates the student learning with various interaction and these interactions are called as learning experience interactions lxi now the third element is student student accesses the course material online by watching videos and solving the exercises even learning extension trajectories is posted for further reading which is called as lxt let us now consider learning dialogue led in details video lectures and other course material is prepared by teacher now videos are different from our traditional lecture as the student can play the video he or she can pause it rewind it and listen for many times increase the volume of the teacher or increase the picture size so video lectures are far better than classroom lectures there are two changes 
to be adapted in creating video one is adding reflection spot and another is adding learning by doing activity in a learning dialogue you can see the content then reflection spot and again the contains content is either the short video or text or animation we all know that the learner loses the focus if he watches the video passively hence reflection spot is added reflection spot provides opportunity to make learner pause reflect on the preceding content express their thinking and do micro practice of whatever content is covered after reflection spot once again the content is there which should have summary with expected answer and should provide continuation with preceding content if you see the learning dialogue dynamics then the learner accesses the content through videos and then responds to reflection spot question which is between the two contents to summarize reflection spot is a question asked to learners which makes the learners to think and reflect the main objective of the reflection spot is learner engagement with content and not the assessment of learner the question should be able to connect content immediately preceding to it and learner needs to express their idea via poll or mcq or recording in diaries presently you are recording your answers in notebook and this is an important activity dear learners if you are not recording answers of reflection spot then please start recording it because average retention rate increases by 20% if you use the method as compared to watching regular videos now let's go to learning by doing activities here here lbd is the activity which ensures content attainment by learners immediate application of concept concepts by learners and integration of overall knowledge lbd is in the way of mcq short answer or long answer which is meant for formative assessment of the learner now the important component of lbd is constructive feedback learner gets feedback for why his option is wrong or correct and if the activity is of long answer type then the rubric is given so that the learners will know which are the essential parameters in that activity now let's see learning by doing dynamics here you can see that learner performs the activity and he gets the customized constructive feedback let's conclude that learning by doing activities focus on concept attainment applying knowledge and customized feedback lbd should always be present after learning dialogue that is led which will reinforce learning through customized constructive feedback you have already seen in this course that every lbd even the wrong options of mcq gives you corresponding feedback while assignments which you do have been given with rubrics for self and peer assessment now our third component is learning experience interaction that is lxi 
LXI is possible by posting a discussion thread in discussion forum where learner writes or gives reply to the question asked in discussion forum and he also reads whatever the replies have been posted by peers. I request you all to do more interaction by seeing and replying the posts of others. This will ensure learner-learner interaction. So, in LXI, focus question is posted to ensure discussion does not scatter and followed by reflection quiz. To ensure learner participation, reflection quiz is important but in this MOOC we have not included it. Now the fourth component is learner extension trajectories where the learner accesses the documents and web links provided as resource materials and followed by that they face the assimilation quiz but in our MOOC we have not included assimilation quiz. Thus online learning have four major components LED that is learning dialogue LBD that is learning by doing, LXT is learning extension trajectories and learner experience interaction is LXI. In LED we have content in terms of video or other material which also contains reflection spot then learning by doing is having activities plus customized feedback is given. In learning extension trajectories, we have resources plus assimilation quiz and in learner experience interaction, we have focused question for discussion plus peer interaction plus reflection quiz. So, we all should include all these four components in online learning to make the learning learner centric. I am very thankful to you for watching this video on components of online teaching and I hope that you have understood four different components LED, LBD, LXI and LXT. I request you to include all these four components in resource materials you prepare for online teaching. Thank you and happy learning.